been a while since we've done the Indie Bundle, hasn't it? So you know what, let's just get straight into it. <laughs> First up we have Not A Hero from Oli Oli Developers Roll7. You take control of one of nine characters, each with their own style of gunplay, and tear through various pixelated locations and just shoot everyone inside, usually in an overly violent and gratuitous fashion. So yes, Not A Hero takes a lot of clues from Hotline Miami, but unlike the dark paranoid overtones of that game, Not A Hero is a lot goofier in its approach. Just look at the story. You are sent on each of your missions by Bunny Lord, a giant talking bunny who has come from the future and alleges that the world will end unless he wins the upcoming mayoral election. And the only way to win this election is by ridding the London streets of the various crime lords. Violently. This sentiment is sort of endearing to start with, but it doesn't really evolve from there. And as a result, you just skip the cutscenes by about the halfway point. Not A Hero is also a lot much slower than Hotline Miami. Your character can take multiple shots, can hide behind cover, and they even have regenerative health. However, this kind of conflicts with the run and gun ambitions that the rest of the game has. Combat situations are decidedly slower affairs. You're constantly just hiding behind cover, occasionally sly tackling, but it's just not as thrilling as your Hotline Miami is or anything like that. It doesn't help as well that combat situations are fairly homogenous. There isn't much variety between them. That isn't to say this game is easy though, because it isn't. Especially if you try to complete the three challenges that come with each mission. Now, I might sound like I'm down on this game, but it's still a competent run and gun shooter. It just, it could be so much better. I'd like to speak to a lawyer now. Please. You have no murder weapon. You have nothing. And all these stories we've been telling each other, just that. Stories. Up next we have Her Story, which was developed by Sam Barlow, who was previously responsible for the Silent Hill Shattered Memory game. Her Story puts you in front of a 90s police computer. On it are many, many clips of a woman being interviewed by the police about her missing husband. You have to go through these clips to try and find out what actually happened. But hindering your process is the search engine because all the clips are transcribed and you can search for individual words or phrases that pop up. However, you're limited to viewing the first five results. So you really have to try and pick up the subtle clues and narrow your searches to try and find that one clip that will open the case wide open. And like a good crime story, this has your red herrings. It has conversations loaded with intrigue and it has enough twists to keep you going. All credit here has to go to the writing. All credit also has to go to the actress, Viva Seyfried, who puts in a compelling and nuanced performance. Even if you figure out the core mystery, you just want to find out about this woman. Her story is a quietly affecting game. It has a high premise, but ultimately it just sticks the landing. The intriguing crime mystery and the unique storytelling approach combined together to really leave its mark. And I reckon I will still remember this game come the end of the year, at least. How about a traditional ballad? Should be right up your street. And that does it for the Indie Bundle. Tune in next time when we'll dive once again into the wonderful world of indie games.